Hiya. Since I've started skating again, I've noticed more and more, probably because I'm old, the impact on your legs, your knees, your joints in general, when you're doing things like jumping off or running out of a trick that you haven't landed. And because I haven't been doing any exercise for a long time now, and skating is going to be and is my my new exercise I'm obviously really out of shape and I started to notice that through skating and the impact of jumping up and down I'm starting to feel my joints are hurting a bit and I also in my right leg developed what I'd never heard of before but I've looked it up and basically found out what I think is shin splints which is like a pain inside your shin it's it's not on the outside on the on the actual shin bone it feels like it's internal inside your shin and it's the muscles inside your shin that have been stressed or strained that can come from a whole load of things but um, generally runners get it from when they start out running doing too much too soon or if they are just overdoing it there's loads of videos on YouTube explaining far better than I could so I'm not going to try and explain the concept of shin splints. It certainly feels like that's what I've got in my right leg. So I'm taking a break this week from skating. It's raining outside anyway today. It's Saturday afternoon and it's raining so I wouldn't be skating in the rain and I don't really want to go to the indoor places just yet. So yeah I thought I'd just do this video. What I'm investigating to to get around this idea i've been skating in a pair of etnies shoes which are these ones here um they they're comfortable I've, I've been wearing them for years um anyway um they are comfortable and they're comfortable for skating in although they're getting pretty worn out now but they've got pretty good internal padding the insoles feel quite good so i don't really know for sure you know what caused well I know, I know where it came from the the shin splint feeling it was from jumping off my board halfway through a trick when i you know wasn't wasn't coming to land on it so that that impact so i thought i'd just look into my shoes and what i've been wearing those shoes are not bad as far as um the sort of cushioning but i thought i'd try and look at whether there's something better available I bought a pair of vans half cabs recently I actually got them for my birthday my wife bought them for me so I didn't think about it at the time but apparently the the pro versions uh, they are the pro and I think all half cabs are pro version they're supposed to have a more cushioning sole but these feel like just regular van soles to me and looking in the shops actually there's the super cush which I'd never heard of um, and you know there are half cabs with super cush so um, these are you know these are new and I'm you know I'm not gonna go and buy another pair straight away anyway but um, uh, perhaps when these are worn out I'll look at the super cush ones but uh, I'm not I don't want to ruin these straight off the bat so I'm not gonna skate in them straight away anyway the next thing I'm perhaps was looking at insoles and what was available I got these for my birthday and also for my birthday because my wife is that amazing she bought me a pair of these sketches because they are really comfortable and these are the Goga Max but they are amazing <laughs> they're so squashy to, to walk on it it really does feel like you're walking on clouds um, and I know a lot of people say like sketches for uh, for old people um, maybe I'm old now you know I'm 39 is that old enough but they're amazing so I've got thinking like why couldn't I get something like these for skating in instead of trying to get insoles? So I've been on the lookout and uh, I found some that they seem to be, I mean they, they are sketches with the, the foam soles but they look like skate shoes so I've ordered some and they should be here pretty soon. I'm going to try and skate in those and see what it feels like. I know a lot of skaters don't like thick soled shoes or squashy soled shoes because they feel like they might be out of contact with the board and not be able to feel the board. I've never really felt like that. I, I used to wear big chunky airwalks and Vision Streetwear boots in the 80s and 90s and I didn't ever have a problem and you know that's the biggest complaint a lot of people have about those old 
basketball style boots so I don't think that will bother me uh, so I'm interested to see what they are like uh, they were very very cheap I got them in a good deal so uh, it's kind of part of the experiment but the week before uh, the week before last I saw on sale in one of the skate shops footprint uh, insoles they are made for skating they're supposed to take the impact out of jumping and landing on your feet so they should stop things like your, your arches and your heels getting knackered from from landing and a lot of pro skaters use these there's signature model versions of these i made a slight mistake though i ordered the wrong ones and these ones are five millimeter so they're not very thick and apparently the ones for skating you need the the top top model one so you know but feeling them if the pro ones are anything like these they are really hard they you know, there's not much give in them at all. Maybe that's all part of the design, but they don't feel, I mean, and because these are only five millimeters, it's gonna be even worse. But they don't feel uh, like they're gonna do much. Certainly in my shoes, you know, if I put, I put them in this pair of DCs. Oh no, they're not DCs, they're at knees as well. But I put them in these and they don't feel like they're doing much, you know, just walking around. They did come with these like stick on extra heel pad uh, you see that there, I've stuck on. Um, there's no instructions in the box with them, so I presume that you know you just stick them underneath and it gives you a bit of extra heel cushioning. So I've stuck those on as well. But so far, I'm not really convinced that they're worth having, to be honest. So uh, yeah, it's my own fault perhaps for buying the wrong ones, but then really, what are these ones for? Because they're, <laughs> you know, they <laughs> don't feel like anything so maybe somebody uh, wants to tell me what these ones are actually worth using for uh, but I'll skate them I'll try them see what see what it comes out like um, I saw some review videos on those uh, footprint insoles one of the reviews compared them against other insoles one of the ones they compared them against was uh, good old-fashioned shell gel inserts these are gel active sports you see there they have like this special part on the heel but the whole things I mean I'm going to open them now the whole things are gel and shaped like molded shaped so there we go just pull those out Ooh. properly shaped with the with an arch support there uh, so there's three areas I mean that arch support is actually hard hard plastic but the heel and the ball of your foot is gel and this is all spongy gel kind of feels kind of good um, and there's lines around the top you can cut them to the right size but they immediately feel like they're going to be more more worth having than the uh, footprint ones but i'm going to put these in a pair of shoes and Try them out. So I'm going to just rotate them around and, and uh, try the, the other sketches when they arrive. Uh, so I just thought I'd do this video to say what I'm investigating. It might be futile. I might be just chasing a, a complete pipe dream, but I'm enjoying myself as I do it. So it's a bit of fun. So I'll do another video on what happens when I try all these out. In the meantime, I'll let my leg rest and catch up on some other things. Maybe do some other videos on other things. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see what happens next with these and, and other things. Uh, like or dislike the video on the subscribe button there. There's a little bell. You can click that. You'll get an email when I post up the next video. But thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.